So no, tell me, why are you not a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim because... Um, Avery, did you say your name is? Yes, sir. Avery, I'm Muslim. Thank you, nice to meet you. Oh, sorry. First time here in Speaker's Corner? Yes, sir. Oh. Just stay there, stay there. Oh, Can I like... Stay, 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 stay there. there. Don't forget the cameras. Have a conversation. Yeah. Everybody got a mic. Everybody got a mic. Excuse me. Right. Sorry. Right. Oh, that's okay. Face that. Otherwise, he wants to control. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, face that. So, some people say go this way. Some people go that way. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. We need room. Right, right. So now, right. So, so Avery. So right here. The question I asked you is, so this why one. are you not a Muslim? Can we come this way? No, I'm not going to move. Let the cameras move. I'm not moving. Okay, well, we're going to stay on this side. Okay. Yeah. Let, let, let me stop you. Let me stop you and then you can move away. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Back up. 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 That's a, it's a, it's a load, kind of a loaded question, but I'll, I'll like something specific. <laughs> so one reason why I reject Islam is because, um, you know, as a Christian, the words of Jesus are important to me. And so the Quran mentions how Jesus said that a messenger named Ahmed will come after him. Right? And so, obviously, you know, being a Christian, if Jesus ever mentioned a messenger to come after him named Ahmed, I definitely believe him. I would believe in that messenger. I believe that, you know, he was a prophet of God that brought the message of God, um, and I'll go with it. However, I don't see any evidence of that. So, I see evidence of the contrary. So, that's, that's, that's a huge reason why I would say I reject this now. So, if you were not a Christian, you would reject Islam because it mentions something that goes against the Bible. That makes sense. And it's not just it's something that goes against the Bible. It's saying it's making me, a it's making a positive let me, claim. Let me make, that, that, let me rephrase what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. If you didn't know anything about Christianity, uh -huh. would your rejection of Islam still be valid the way you explained just now? Yes. Right. So the Quran says Christ talked about someone to come after him, whose name would be Ahmed, and you, whether you're a Christian or you have no knowledge of Christianity, you think because of that you'd re reject Christianity. Yeah, and here's the reason why. It's because if I'm, I'm investigating the claims. As an investigator, you know, I'm trying to verify, okay, is, this tell is he telling the truth here? So when I go and I investigate and I don't see anywhere in any history where Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him, I'm like, oh, well, this book is false. It's making a false claim, you know? Very interesting. So as an investigator, you have investigated and looked into what this claim Jesus made. Firstly, where he has he made these claims. Yeah. The writings you've read yourself, yourself in, 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 in Greek, in Hebrew, in, yeah. in Aramaic. So you've, you've learned of all, all these languages and investigate it right I, I've, I've, I've looked into the text i've looked into the text so and i haven't no, seen it. if a text is in greek you've looked into the greek text you've understood it fine good so so you've investigated that the early reports about christ the ones that talks about christ himself and you have made yourself a good investigator a good critic and say this kind of writings is authentic and acceptable and reliable for example when we look at writings about Christ in the Gospel of St. Thomas, for example, 114 saints, on the Gospel of Judas, in the Gospel of Infancy, right? In the Gospel of Mary, none of which are in the Christian canon, in the Bible the Christians follow today. But these were written by people who thought they were following Christ, who thought they were following the teaching of Christ, what Christ preached. So you investigated them and you considered, so you have all of these writings the four in the New Testament, in your New Testament, and the other 45 or so that we know of extant in various manuscript traditions, and you said, okay, this is reliable, this is not. So the question now pinges on, how do you establish authenticity and reliability of all of these textual tradition that is about available to us? That's actually not the question. 
That's but, the question for me, well, to you. Well, yeah, so my, my question is, at first was, where does Jesus say this? That was the question. Not on, is this reliable, is this reliable, is this reliable, is this reliable? When we look at the text of all the claims of what Jesus said, where? we do not, where in, do you look? In, in the earliest testaments that we have of, where his, are of his words. The New, the New Testament. That's wrong. Right. Again. No, well, that's no, no, what we that's have. what I'm saying. Well, it, well, just, me, can I land this? I, I will not just speak everywhere. I want to clarify something. Yeah, but let me land this. Huh? Let me land. But, let me, but let you me, misunderstood me. my question. No, I, I, no I, I'm trying to explain my point. But did you understand okay. my question, though? I, I understand your question. You, you asked me how. Go yeah, ahead. So Answer this, 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 this is why I'm saying this, because you're changing the, the conversation, too. Not that my first question was, does Jesus mention the... And so where? I haven't seen anywhere where he does that. Okay. So if you can provide that for sure, me, sure, sure. that would be beautiful. So, so this is what I'm, what I'm trying to establish. Okay. Whatever Christ said or not said, let me just remind you, some, if you didn't remember, there are reports in some Gospels, Christ is saying something like this. I have many things to tell you. Many things. Not one thing, not two things, many things. But you cannot be of them. But when I go, he will come and tell you. That means, whatever Christ said, he said many things, but he didn't actually tell them, these disciples. So the things that he didn't say, that also did he tell to someone else, number one. Because he didn't tell them, right? Like he didn't meet Paul in real life when he was alive. He did. No, no. Is Paul, in real life. In real life. He in was, real life. Jesus is alive. In real life. Paul didn't meet Christ. Yes, he did. Don't tell me, because Paul saw a vision, a not what? real Jesus, right? Wait, it was Let's Jesus. That. Let's see that. He's alive. Um, a vision and a dream is not the same as seeing you. If I see you in my dream, and if I see you now physically, is it the same? It's not the same. So I don't have to even listen an answer for you. Did Muhammad so really see Jesus me, and Abraham uh, and Moses? Let me clarify. On it. the night journey? Let me clarify. Because that so was a vision. Let me clarify. But, but you believe that. Hang on. It's a clarify. I'm okay. making a distinction. It's a, double a distinction. it's a double standard. I'm making a distinction. What's making the distinction? distinction? I am telling you. Okay. So now, when we say, so no where did Christ, where did Christ, where did Christ say these things, right? You have documents about, you have documents yeah. in which you say, these are the documents that we believe Christ says so, right? The question inevitably that comes is, how reliable are these documents in which they supposedly talk about what Christ said or Christ did? Okay. So it's important for us to verify and authenticate these documents. Right, let me what are the, no, let, let me respond. you can respond. But here's my question. Well, here's, my, here's my question. What are the criteria that we can use to determine the authenticity and reliability of what Christ said in those available documents. Got you. So let me ask you this, and just a quick answer, please, so I can pick it back off. When you quoted Jesus saying, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now, was that authentic? Is that an authentic for statement? For me, it's not. But uh, for okay. you, it is. Wait, wait, no. You don't know what's authentic for me. Okay. But, 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 wait, 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 Yes, you did. No, I Can did not. I sat here and let you speak. I know, you I, interrupted me. No, I, no, I let it's you on, speak. It's on yeah, video. it's on camera. Continue. So, thank you. I appreciate it. So you quoted, you said in one of these documents, Jesus says, and you, you, you built your argument on, there's other words that Jesus mentioned that are not found here, and he didn't tell you what these words are. That's what you built your case on. So now when I asked you, okay, let's rewind. That verse that you quoted, was it authentic? You said no. So then therefore, you don't know if there were other words. You can't say that there were many words that Jesus didn't say to his disciples. You don't know if he didn't say everything. Let me respond. No, let me finish. Okay, finish okay? So you don't know if Jesus didn't say everything. For all we know, he did. Of course, especially according to the Quran, he said everything that was in the Injil. He revealed the Injil from, your, from the Quran's paradigm. So he didn't miss anything. Now, if we're, again. No, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So now, but you didn't finish the verse. He says, I have many things to say to you now, right? But uh, I have many things to say to you, but you can't bear them now. But when the Holy Spirit comes, who the Father will send in my name, he will guide you into all truth. For some reason, you left that out. I don't know why. But I can tell you why right well, now. Well, well, no, that, because it wasn't important. Well, Before those plans you make, it's, it's, it's very important. To say. It's very important. So here it is. Okay. I'm asking why again. Are they well, those many things? This, is what I'm, this is what I'm asking. Your Quran says, it makes a claim. 
Jesus mentioned Ahmed to come after him. Where did he say that? I'm telling you, in my turn, I'm explaining to you. All right. Just like the prophecies of Christ himself cannot be found even by his name, even once in the Old Testament, the entirety of the Old Testament, we say this way the Quran is saying, he was described to them by description, by attributes, right? So the prophet was known to them, not only by like, this is what it is, says X, Y, and Z, but it was all known through description. Just like the absence of every single book of the Old Testament in which the name of Christ is not even mentioned once. You assume it's referring to Jesus. It might well refer to Hare Krishna, right? So now let's come back to the point I'm saying. When I say Jesus says many things, I didn't say this was authentic to me. I am saying you consider Avery this part authentic to you, binding to you, not to me, to you. So from your own binding, at least you should say, right, I agree there were many things he was supposed to say he didn't, right? So the question I asked you again, which you didn't answer is this. The criteria of determining authenticity and reliability. Let's go and hear once again. Okay. Okay. So you mentioned how you try to make a parallel. How Jesus, the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus. Are you answering the question? Not, I, I'm responding to you. I'm responding to you because you didn't answer my question. Direct question. Yeah, I, I asked the direct. You, not, wait, wait, I asked a direct question and you didn't answer me. What was the direct so, question? My direct question was: Your Quran says Jesus mentioned Ahmed. Where did he say that? That he was a direct question, and, and you and you couldn't, you didn't answer me directly. You went on waffling you about. Misunderstood. Uh, well, stop, stop. You misunderstood. Me, okay. Well, you're misunderstanding me then. No, let I me, haven't. Okay, that's fine. All right. Understand. So let me respond. Can I? But what are you responding to? Uh, I'm, you, responding to I'm responding to you. I'm responding. I wrote down what you said. I wrote down what you said. So I'm responding. You're wasting my time. What did I say? I'm about to say it. I'm responding. Okay. So you mentioned how, you mentioned how, that Jesus, the Old Testament prophecies about Jesus. We won't find Jesus prophesied by name in the Old Testament. However, we can find descriptions of him in these Old Testament prophecies. And likewise, it will be like Muhammad, where we don't find his name explicitly, but we can, the Quran says we'll find his descriptions. However, this is where you have a problem, Mansoor. Your problem is, is that your Quran says we'll find him by name. It says it. It says Jesus said a messenger named Ahmed will come after me. So I'm asking, where did he say this? Sure, Wait, sure. pause. So this is where you, I, I, you know, it's a false equivocation. It's not the same thing. It's a false parallel. With Jesus, the Bible doesn't say in the Old Testament, we'll find the Messiah by name. However, we do. Isaiah 49, 6, it mentions Yeshua, the salvation of Christ. So we do find them by name. So, so, wait, wait. So, pause, so pause. Look, here's the, here's the thing. Don't make claims. Well, wait. Here's, have a discussion. No, yeah, this engage is. with me. I am. You're not engaging with me. I need you to engage with me. So, so look, so look. What I'm saying so look, is, you said, look, you said that you we find descriptions of Muhammad, right? We don't have to find his name, which... It says that elsewhere in 7157 that we, we find them written. Okay, that, you know, it doesn't okay. by name. Do you have but the Bible? 61, wait, 61 verse 6. I'll finish what you have to say. I got you, because, thank you. Because, because you, you don't seem to be engaging. Six, well, I, I'm engaging with you directly. You're not engaging with me. No, no, you're not listening Six, to my okay, look, clarification wait, hold on, necessary. Let's listen to each other. 61 verse 6 says Ahmed is mentioned by name. Where? Uh, I'll answer again. You do not have the document surviving, and I'll tell you why. The existence... Wait, say that part again? Sorry. Hmm? Say, repeat yourself, I didn't hear. You do not possess the documents in which we can find these names, and I'll tell you why. Ah. Because Christians have been, <laughs> as well as the Jewish people, throughout the centuries, corrupting, corrupting, corrupting these so-called words attributed to the prophets and messengers Beautiful. and vice versa. Beautiful. For example, Beautiful. I alluded to you how the corruption took you just place threw under the even, bus. even yeah. in the first 400 years of Christianity, people were corrupting the text, text left, right and center. Mm. Now, what's more important about the God we worship or so-called prophecies here and there? What's more important? Uh, well, I I'll answer you. It's, it's really, it's true. Like, for example, if if Allah says anything wrong in the Quran about him, anything, yeah. if he says no, anything, the concept of God. Yeah, well, okay, do, do, can God be wrong about anything? Um, let me answer. No, it's a yes or no, please, because it's my turn to speak. Uh, you want me to 
answer right, me yet in, in a control I, got, I, no. get you, I get you, hold on. Can God be wrong oh, in anything? No! no. Can God, can, can God be wrong about anything? Um, let me answer. It's a yes or no so I can continue. Um, do you want me to answer? No, no, it's okay. okay so, so the answer as we get from the crowd is a no. Okay, I hope you agree. I don't know, you might be a... Irrelevant. A because you don't allow me to answer. Well, well, you are so, well, well, so, so, so... We'll, we'll see. Um, I don't know. Anyway, continue. So the answer for the crowd and most Muslims will speak be no. Speak well, I'm speaking to, to you. And I'm just letting you know that you're a heretic. It's unfair. I just, no, if it's, 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 to me, it's very fair. Why don't you ask me it's and very answer. fair because you won't. So I need to ask your supporters. You're very you got to ask the people. You didn't answer the question. You didn't, and you don't give you me didn't answer, answer the question, Mansoor. So, 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 ask him again. Ask him again. Okay. Can Allah, can God be wrong about anything, yes or no? Are you finished? Yes or no? Let the crowd tell him. Ask him, is he finished? Yes. It's, a, it's a yes or no. So Are I can you continue. Are you finished? I, I have, I, I'm, I'm asking this for a reason. I am going to answer, but I don't want you to interrupt. All right, pause. Yeah, so no. So it's okay. No, 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 so, no, 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 no. It's not okay. It's not okay. I don't want you to answer. It's not okay. I don't want you to answer. Okay. I don't want to talk to you. It's okay. I don't want to talk to you. Well, well, that's fine. Because you, you, you no, don't look, seem to be don't, don't, don't run away now, man. You're running away. Don't run away now, man. Come on, man. Don't run away now. Come on, my son. You know what? It's my time or your time. Come on, my son. Yo, come on, man! Come on, man! What's up, really? Shameful on you, isn't it? No, it's, a, it's terrible. It's, you're here it's to play a game. Look, we busted your game, right? Really? Now. Really? If you want to continue, you talk just to busted me, Allah and Muhammad. Hang on. We busted your you game. You busted here. Muhammad. You busted I'm about to show your you game. Out. That's why you don't so want to answer. If you want to engage with me talking, that's why you don't want to answer. Hear my answer. That's why you so, don't want to answer. So have you we finished? busted your game. Have you finished? That's why you don't want to answer the question. Have you finished? Okay, the question. okay, how about I'm going to just respond. Have you finished your question? No, I haven't. Okay. okay. Finish so your question. I'm, but I'll answer. I'll, I, okay, thank you. All right. So, it's, it's, it's okay. We, we good. We here. We here. We here. We good. So, so the question was. Can Allah be wrong about anything? Mansoor refused to answer yeah, the question. You didn't give me but everybody speak. else, everybody uh, else, correction. Yes. You did everybody not. You did no. not give me whoa, the question. Whoa, whoa. You did not give me the question. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, relax. Relax. Yes, I did. Yes. 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 It's a yes okay. or no, Mansoor. Yes. It's a yes or no, Mansoor. Yes. 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 No, Mansoor. Yes. Mansoor, we right here. We're here. Does, We're right here. Does, Focus. Does it mean? Does it mean? Focus. Does it mean? Focus. Um, that really shows the intellectual maturity of the Christian crowd. Ah. Shameful. Yes. Ah. Shameful. Hey, hey, hey. The Christians have the intellectual capacity to answer a simple question. Hey, good job, Christians. Good job, Christians. Good job, Christians. Yes, Yeshua Akbar. Yeshua Akbar. As we now realize, you are not sincere to have a discussion with the Muslim. I don't think you're sincere. Uh, you haven't been able to answer I, a simple question straightforward. Why, why are you refusing to answer a question straightforward? I haven't forward? refused. Yes, you have. You are not allowing me to respond. It's, here it is. Uh, is um, can Allah be wrong? Yes or no, Mansoor? I'm answering. Answer the question. Yes, a yes or no. Let him answer the question. He's not finished. Clearly. He's not finished. It's, it's a yes or no. Okay, stop there. And I'm, can I answer? It's a yes or no. Can I answer? It, just give me yes or no. Look, Can I answer? Look, look, let me, let me tell you Do you have why. a verbal diarrhea? Let, let, me, let me tell you Problem. why. Let me tell he has you a why. verbal diarrhea. Let me, let me tell you, you why, You can't answer. finish asking the question. Of course, of course. You have to repeat it a million times. Of course. So, so here it is. Here it is, Mansoor. I want to answer. Mansoor, Mansoor, I, 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 I got you. I got you. Hold on, hold on. I got to say this. 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 Can you answer? I want to answer now. So it's a yes or no? I am going to answer. Once you give me a yes or no, then I'm going to continue my turn. I'm going to answer. Yeah, I'm going to continue my turn after the yes or no. I want to answer. Yeah, are you afraid I, to hear it? Here it is. So, are you scared of the so, so you spoke. You spoke for at least uh, about a minute, you right? You spoke about at least a minute, right? You can carry so it Okay, but here's are my thing. No, it's a yes or no, and then I go. You're scared of the answer. You will carry on afterwards. So it's a yes or no. Are you scared to hear the answer? I want a yes or no. Yes or no, man. Okay, you know what? Okay, you know what? You know what? The yes answer no. the answer is God yes cannot no. be wrong in anything. Thank you. I answered without saying yes or no. I didn't play your game. I didn't play his game. 
I was able to answer without saying yes or no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Your game was busted. Oh, you're right, you're right. Right. And now, and now again, my game was busted. My game was busted. And now we're about to see how Muhammad just got busted by you. You, bu you busted Muhammad. Let me show you how. Because now, now watch this, guys. So look. You, concept of God now, now watch this. Now, now, come back to yeah, now watch this. So the, away. so the concept of God is important, right? Yes. The concept of God Most is important. important. I got you, Mansoor. Relax, relax. You relax. So don't, the concept of God is don't important. Don't like this. So the concept Talk of God, it. the concept of God. Yeah, well, that's mean, right. So one of the uh, uh, intricate characteristics of Him yeah. is that He cannot be wrong. He cannot Agreed. be false. Absolutely. Okay, good. So if He gets this wrong, Mansoor, if if He says that that uh, Jesus mentioned. Ahmed to come after him and it didn't happen then Allah is not God in the Quran he's not God because he fails when it comes to the concept of the true God he can't be wrong so that's why we're investigating this this is important and I, wait 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 no I'm not okay because I gotta get back to what you said okay so yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. No, no, sorry, no, 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 no. So, so look so look so when you say for example that um that we cannot, we don't have any of the documents where we can see or verify where Jesus said this. We have no evidence of this claim, right? That's what you said. We don't have any evidence really of Jesus' words. That's what you said. So we can't find this. So what you have, be, what said, because, yeah, this is what you said. It. You said I, that. You have a memory problem. Anyway, well, no, no, I, I have a perfect I, like, memory. You know, sometimes it, I lose it's, my it's, memory. It's, yeah. That's fine. I, it's no okay. It's so, okay. So it's good. It's good. So you said this is because, because over the centuries, second third fourth fifth century the christians have corrupted their scripture and that's why we cannot find the true words of jesus for example him mentioning that ahmed will come after him so you just busted muhammad where your quran says and allah by the way because allah says that they had the Injil, they had the gospel that jesus preached they had it with them Do you have and them? in that in Do you that have them? wait uh, wait you're saying that we don't of course not. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. So what? So what is the NGO? Let me tell you. All right, exactly. Good. So now it's my turn to speak. Right? Absolutely. What is Thank the NGO? I'll take it. And then I'll go back to the concept of God. What is the NGO? Uh, so now the Injil is what God gave to Isa Alayhi Salam. What was that? You interrupt him. I'll explain it. You interrupted me the whole time. Let him speak. Do you have a problem of letting people speak? I have, a, I have a problem of letting people lie. I'm trying to help you be on track. Uh, you just call me a liar. Yes, I do. End of discussion. Why it? Oh. He couldn't tell he, me what the angel was. was. He calls me a liar. Uh, he should have at uh, least uh, have. Uh, after, have after, you, least after you, after you tried to insult my intelligence, intellectual, after you insulted my intelligence, say, maybe you and now you can dish out what you can't take. Excuse me. Look, you can look, dish out what you can't look, take. Look, 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 look. I'm not interested in speaking to someone who accused people of lying. But you accused you, could have, you accuse well, me I, of having a memory problem of of of, yeah, of, clearly, of, of messing up clearly, your words. Clearly, so so you can clearly, insult my intelligence, uh, but I can't uh, I can't say that you're a liar. Is there anyone else? You're a liar. Capable to speak. Is there, is there anybody else who's a Muslim that can tell me where the heck yeah, can I find up. Jesus saying Ahmed? But anyone? Any, any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslims? Any Muslims? All right, take care. All right, guys. All right, guys. Say bye. Say bye. 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 So guys, get 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 some space, get some space, get some space. Get some space. So guys, well done, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's, but hold on, let me do this wrap up. Let me do this wrap up, guys. Guys, yeah, we're doing a wrap up. Guys, guys. This is why this is important, okay? I, I, I don't want you guys to get lost in all the commotion. The reason, reason why the questions that I asked was important, because each and every one of y'all can do it. All y'all gotta do is ask simple questions, and they can't prove nothing they say. They can't do it. But here's the problem. It's because the Quran itself puts them in a bind. The Quran, notice how he's trying to say um, that, you know, in the Old Testament, we'll find the scriptures of Jesus, but not by name. So we shouldn't expect the same of Muhammad. Uh oh, hold on, time out. Your Quran says 
says we'll find Muhammad by name. So if we don't find Muhammad by name, then the Quran is false. Muhammad is a false prophet and Allah is a liar. But wait, wait, wait. It's been corrupted. It's been corrupted. We busted you. It's been corrupted. Oh, you didn't bust me. You busted Allah and Muhammad because Muhammad says that the Injil is in my hands, that I have it, and that if I go into it, I can find Muhammad written in it, that I can find the words of Jesus preaching off me. So if I can't, the Quran is false. Allah is a false God. Muhammad is a pagan prophet. That's what we have. So what he just did was showed us how Quran has no answers. The most intellectual, smartest, clever of them have no answers to the simplest questions. Nothing about Tawheed, nothing deep, just simple questions. And it was over, he had to run. Bye, Mansoor! Bye!